Hey, I get to talk about Wally Wood, one of my favorite things to do. And if anyone else wants to talk about Wally Wood, come find me down in Artist Alley and we can have a wonderful time. Uh, I like to call, first of all, I want to say Ingers are artists. Nobody said it yet, so I get to say it. Ingers are artists. <laughs> Maybe best known as a publisher or uh, artist advocate, I, I've got a calyx on my finger and I've practically drank in ink many times. I'm sure a lot of you have shared those experiences. I like to call Wally the great collaborator. And some of the people that he, other than inking his own work, is being an, uh, an artist, of course Wally inked his own work quite a bit. But he was also a great collaborator. Uh, starting with Harry Harrison, straight out of going to the uh, School of Visual Arts in New York, became his first partner, then Joe Orlando, Hal Williamson uh, very early on, when Frank Rosetta needed help on the Johnny Comet strip, the very first person he thought about calling was Wally Wood, because Wally Wood was THE star at EC. All the great talents were there, everyone that worked at EC knew that Wally was the guy. And um, then he went on and worked with Jack Kirby and Sky Masters and Challengers of the Unknown. Uh, and at MAD, he was working over Harvey Kurtzman's layout, so that was uh, some fabulous collaboration that went on there. And he, Kurtzman tended to be very loose, and a lot of people didn't appreciate Kurtzman for the genius he was on his own work because his work was so loose. And Wally, some people would say Wally was too tight. So when those guys worked together, it was the perfect combination. Uh, then coming into the 60s, after he left Man, he ended up at Marvel. He worked on, uh, I like to credit him as co-creator of uh, Daredevil because he contributed so much to Daredevil as an artist and an inker. Uh, but then he also inked Don Heck. And talking about getting credit, uh, the first time all sides, the first time in the history of the world, a major publisher put a credit for an inker cover of a comic, Stan Lee uh, made a big announcement for art lovers to pay attention to Wally Wood's inks on uh, Avengers over Don Heck. 22, 23? Yeah, on the yeah, cover credit. And then over at DC, he uh, did a significant run inking Bob Brown with Superboy, uh, a couple of other artists there, uh, Rich Buckler and also Garcia Lopez. Um, it is... It's very important to me as a representative for the Wallace Wood Estate to add to Wood's legacy. This award is very, very important along those lines. Uh, I'd also like to say Wood, like our friend uh, Joe Seneff, whom this award is aptly named after, was a consummate craftsman whose style amazingly spanned every genre from Disney as to funny animal cartoons to superheroes, including Daredevil. Thunder Agents and Superboy from Mad Magazine to Science Fiction, Westerns to War Comics and beyond. This accolade is a worthy addition to the great legacy of Wallace Wood. We are honored to receive the award on Wood's behalf. Long live the Inkwells and long live Wally Wood.